What's up guys, Andrew Bana here, and on today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. This time around, I'm gonna be sharing with you five tips and tricks on how to grow your YouTube channel and get a little bit more views on your videos. These tips are things that I've found work for me over the past eight or so years of being on YouTube, and I really wanted to pass them along because I wanted to help you guys out as well. So the first tip I wanna give you guys is to download a Google Chrome extension that allows you to see other YouTube videos metadata. Now there's a few different options here. The one that I use is called vidIQ, so I'm gonna be showing and talking about that one. I'll also put a link in the description below so you can find out more about it. But basically what it lets you do is it lets you see the metadata of any YouTube video that you go and watch. The metadata meaning that video's tags and a little bit more information about it. The reason that this is useful is because when I make a video that is relevant to a topic, I quite literally go on the top videos about that topic, look at the tags and metadata that they're using, and I honestly just copy it, and I would suggest that you guys do too. So to give you guys an example, if I was gonna be doing a cover of the new After the Burial song, for example, um, I would literally go onto After the Burial's music video, look at all the tags they have, and just copy all of them, and then if there's any other YouTube video out there that kind of pops up when you search like After the Burial new song, go on to those, take a look at their tags, and copy any relevant ones from those as well. The reason that you wanna do this is because YouTube is all based upon uh, recommended videos. So what that means basically is if someone is watching After the Burial's official music video, then on the sidebar where it says recommended, you want your video to be there because that is the most likely way that your video is gonna get a ton of views. And the most likely way to get on the recommended bar is to have a video that is relevant to the video that the user is currently watching. So obviously it makes sense to use the same metadata tags and all of that stuff. So once again, if you use an app such as vidIQ, you can basically just copy the tags that exist on the video that you're trying to gain traction, gain views from. Hopefully that makes sense. And again, you can find the link to vidIQ in the description below. So I'd highly recommend downloading that or a similar uh, app if you find one that you like better. So tip number two, while we're on the topic of metadata, I do wanna mention that the absolute most important things on YouTube are your title and your thumbnail. Now with titles, it's a little bit tricky um, to find the perfect title. It's always hard to kind of balance the fine line between having too much information and not enough information. The perfect title, will basically give the viewer enough information so that they can decide if they want to watch it or not. And since you're trying to basically convince people to watch your videos, a good title will have something enticing in it that makes the viewer basically want to click on the video or want to learn more about the video. So maybe don't give everything away, but kind of maybe, if possible, maybe frame it as like a question so that they want to see the answer to that question, which can only be found by, of course, watching your video. And with that being said, the thumbnail plays a big part in that as well. You want the thumbnail to be very bright and colorful, and uh, this is an area where, in all honesty, I could still improve on, but there's tons of other YouTubers who do excellent job at making very clickable thumbnails. You basically want to be clickbait without the negative aspect of clickbait. Like, you want someone to want to click your video, but obviously you want to be using relevant content in your thumbnail. Like, you don't want to be using a picture of, like, a you know, like a half-naked girl if you're doing like a guitar cover or something like that because that just makes no sense. And even if you get more clicks, people are just gonna leave your video right away because it has nothing to do with the thumbnail. So don't do that, but make something that's clickable and clickbait-y if that makes sense. But it's clickbait-y in the sense that people are going to like what they see when they click the thumbnail. Hopefully that makes sense. Maybe a little bit confusing, but yeah. Thumbnails and titles, extremely, extremely important for getting views on YouTube. The next tip I wanna talk about is sharing your videos everywhere. This might seem obvious, but I know that me personally, I only recently started doing this. Um, in the past, I was always really scared of uploading my videos to other platforms such as like Instagram and Facebook, for example, because I thought if I uploaded it to those platforms, it would detract or take away from the views that I got on YouTube. And obviously, you know, I make money on YouTube because I can monetize my videos there, so I always want the most views to go on YouTube and not to the other platforms. However, after a few years of doing this, I've kind of realized that it doesn't really matter as much as I thought. Um, the click-through rate of people who will see like a preview on Instagram or Facebook and then actually go to the YouTube link is very, very small. And honestly, in my opinion, it's basically negligible to the point where it doesn't even matter. 
So I kind of figured it makes more sense just to grow my audience everywhere and just post the full video on all platforms whenever I can. Um, the reason that I say this is because it's very valuable to have a big following across all platforms rather than what I did where I have a big following just on YouTube and my Facebook is way behind, my Instagram is way behind, my Twitter is laughably behind. You know, I have like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, but then if you look at my Facebook, it's only like 7,000, Instagram's like 18,000, which is better, but not great. And then Twitter's like 2,000, so. In my opinion, that was a mistake that I made, which I'm now working on correcting, so if I can pass off one piece of advice to learn from my mistakes is to share your videos everywhere. And again, if you have a bigger following on Facebook and Instagram, then it also inadvertently does help your YouTube channel because then all of them can kind of grow together. Whereas if you're doing what I did and only pushing YouTube and not even really caring about the other ones, then obviously it's you know just not quite as good in the long run. And even though you can't directly monetize videos on Facebook or Instagram, there are other monetization opportunities that can be had with those platforms, so it's also worth growing them for the other potential monetization features. And also, Facebook monetization is coming very soon, so again, it's good to grow your Facebook presence as well, because that'll be a thing very, very soon. I think some creators already have it, actually. The next tip I have is potentially a little debatable, but I think that you should be utilizing memes and topical content as much as possible across all your platforms to get more engagement on your platforms, basically. So in YouTube's case, it makes sense to, you know, cover the most popular song at that point in time, obviously, because if that song is popular, you can kind of ride on the coattails of that song's success and potentially gain some new fans for yourself. Or if there's like a meme that somehow relates to music, in my case, it's always a good idea for me to hop on that meme because again, it's kind of like, even though it's easier or maybe cheap views, um, some of those people that do find that meme or do find that cover will become actual fans and they'll start watching your other content that you potentially maybe care about a little bit more. So sometimes it's good just to do stuff that you know will get a lot of views just to kind of grow your overall audience because then you have a bigger audience where you can push those people to watch the content that you really, really want to do and you really, really care about. This might be a little bit controversial. Some people might call this selling out perhaps. Um, but honestly, I think that it's just a smart move. Um, after all, if you're treating your YouTube channel like a business, you kind of need to grow your channel and you kind of need more views. So every once in a while, if you have to do something that you aren't 1000% stoked on, but you know it'll pay off, in my opinion, it's worth doing. So that would be my suggestion to you guys. All right, guys, so those are my five tips for growing your YouTube channel and getting more views on your video. I really hope that this was valuable to you guys. Like I said, I've been doing this for quite a while now and I'm finally starting to reach the point where I'm making a full-time living off of YouTube and it feels fantastic. So I just wanted to help you guys out as well. A lot of this information is stuff that I wish I knew when I first started because I spent a long time spinning my wheels and not making any progress. So again, I just really hope whether you're starting out a channel from scratch that you go into starting a channel knowing this and potentially having a few jumping off points. Or if you're like me and you've been doing YouTube for a long time and just wanted some more tips to kind of, you know, try something new, hopefully this was useful for you as well. Hopefully this was valuable to you guys. I really look forward to reading your comments and thank you guys so much for watching.